Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. What you was what you was taught? Taught this. All right. That's what I'm saying. No, as, when I came to the truth, you I was ever taught seen this. God? What? No, no man has seen God. All right, then. No man has that's seen all, God. That's, all, that's, that's my thing. You want to see him? Hell yeah. Okay. You gotta keep his commandments. Right. Uh oh. It it never happened. Well, why not? I ain't never seen. Him. Oh, so you, have you ever kept the commandments believe, of God? I believe. No, believing is an action word. So, believing is an action word. And that's one of the problems with our people. We don't want to do anything. It requires action. No, nope. we want it right now. No, I want it right no, now. No, no, no. No, no, I'm not saying you. I'm saying our people. I so, never knew nobody that knew that. that tell me about this, tell me about that. Like, you, you know what? I mean, how, no, how, how, how do I supposed uh, to believe 18. you? Don't believe me, believe the scriptures. I'm not saying you. Okay. That, that's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's all my life is living. They talk, they, they say this, they say this. So how do I supposed to believe you? you tell me, no, Don't God, believe me, believe the scriptures. Right. Because I God it's never not about lies. You. Right. It's not about you. Right. It's not, I know it's not. It's about our nation. It's about me living. You haven't been you living. You say telling me, God said, what, what did I say? The commandments. Keep the commandments. Man, come on, come John 14, 15. Show me that shit. Oh. Got you. This my friend. No, no, no. You, you good, that, bro. That, that, that's what I believe in. Okay. Friend. But where has it gotten you? Nowhere. Read this. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. For real. If he loved me. So Christ said, the black Messiah said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. Have you done that? Have you kept the commandments of God? No. No. So what Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's a rule? That's a commandment. So what's that mean? Commandment. Like Command is an order. That's what I'm saying. So God doesn't ask us. He doesn't request He's us. You. He's telling you. Give me Proverbs 7 too. See, you know, this uh, Christianity. I just need help. I, I know, I know, but you. Uh, know. Okay, all right. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. Keep my commandments and live. Read that again. Keep my commandments and live. Because we haven't lived. God didn't say that. Read that again. Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. God didn't say that, though. Somebody else wrote it. Said it. Who wrote the Bible? I don't know. So, but you're making a statement that God didn't say this. Ain't nobody never seen it. How you believing in it? Oh, hold, wait a minute. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Bring it out. I'm just asking. Oh, oh, no, 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 we got the answer I'm, for I'm, you, bro. I'm just it's asking good, my good. brother, like, come, like, oh, you know, man. Living, like, you know, my mama say, uh, no, hey, if you no, do no, this, no. don't do it. I 
just want to know. Who told you? Okay. How did our people come to the United States? Yeah, what they say? What? What they say? How? How you know? What form of trans? How you know? How you know? Because if there is witness. How, how, how do you know though? Because our ancestors are here they by told slave ships. They told you. How you? you Give me there. Where those pictures at? You wasn't there. Where those pictures at? But you wasn't there. Brother, brother. Uh, the other one with the slave, slave ships. You was you there? You ain't old enough to be there. That's oh, I'm saying. oh, see this? Well, hold on, hold on, brother Derek. You've been following your own way and it hasn't worked. And here we give you the solutions and you still want to listen. Now you're questioning solutions. I'm not questioning. Did this anything. happen to our people, yes or no? Yes, it did. Oh, where is that found? I'm not questioning anything, my brother. What, where is that found? I just asked you a question. I, I'm giving you the answer. Where is that but you tell, found? But you sit here telling me what I'm doing. How do you tell me what I'm doing? Is what I'm saying? Uh, brother, give yes. me 228. And verse do 15. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter know. 28 and verse 15. Know, but it shall come to pass, as thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The voice, if you will not listen to the voice of the Lord your God, this is the voice of God, the Bible. We to observe, to do all his commandments, some of them, all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses the Bible, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Oh God, oh my! Give me Psalm 68 and verse 11. No, so we know we give you the answers out of the scriptures, not by our words. No, but yeah. no, I would say it that way. Not now, I don't. I'm gonna have to question shit like this. This one way. Read that. Psalm chapter 68 and verse 11. The Lord gave the word. No, the white man gave the word. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Is that what it says? The Lord gave the word, which is the Bible. Yeah. And great was the company of those that, that published it. Absolutely. Because guess what? But because we didn't believe it, is why we're in the condition we're in right now. I, I'm telling you, according to the scriptures, there's no other solution. You, you didn't try the Bible, keeping the commandments of God. You have not repented to the Lord our God. Right. And to keep his commandments. You didn't do that. But where's that? That's the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The so Israelites. Believe right. Right. Yes. Just believe in. Yes. Believing is an action oh, word. Alright. Believing is an action word. Uh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Sirach. I went to school. 3224. I went to school. I passed school. Okay. School is that's not the solution. That's not the solution. So why we go? Because we were told to go. And, and whoa, whoa, there's oh another my, thing. You got Brother Derek, kidding me. Brother Derek, in this society, if you don't go to school, what happens? In your society. In this society, in if you society, don't. In your society, what it was? What's going to oh stop? God. We got, we, uh, we, we gotta the book of Sirach, chapter 32, and verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. Read that again. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. That is action. Taketh heed. Does the commandments of God. That takes action. Yes, sir. Just not talk. No, it takes action. God says we believe and we do because he says so. Together we stand, divided we fall. Stand together as what? One. One what? One nation. That's right. One nation of Israel. That's right. That's how we succeed as one nation. Not as individuals. Do you see that? I've been saying that. Okay. Because you tried your own way and it didn't work. Doesn't work. Don't use that against me. That is no. I, I know what I said, but no. Doesn't okay. I'm not using it against together you. Together we stand, divided we fall. Okay, That's together it. as what? One. One under believe Christ it. and the commandments. Believe in the same thing. Did you believe this? Remember, believing is an action word. Did you believe this? Y'all for real. Uh, I wouldn't be here.
Uh, yeah, we're real. I know. We're real. God's word is real. Right. And we're doing what God said to do. That's right. I got you. Brother, because you didn't believe, because you questioned what God said, is the reason why you're in this condition. And we're giving you solutions to those issues through the scriptures. Because everything else failed us. Voting doesn't work. Right. Politics doesn't work. Right. He's, uh, huh? So, so, uh, so, okay, 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 okay. So if you're trying to get something done, what you doing today, mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. So what what you call this? If, if Preaching the gospel. Right. So, so, so if everybody come, flock to you. Not, if, not, not, not to me. No, go ahead, go ahead, ask. Ask your question. So what that mean? If everybody, everybody's not going to come. I mean, and follow the word. It's a speech. Okay. We're talking. Okay. We let everybody know what it is. Okay. So if they flock to you, do what that's called. They flocking to the no, Most High God, God and the Scriptures. We're commanded by God to go and preach the gospel to our people. What you got? Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 14, and verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, The Lord, who's the Lord? Christ, the black Messiah, said unto his servants, We are servants. We, we just go out through. into the highways and hedges uh -huh. and compel them to come in. Compel means what? What does compel mean? I don't know. Tell me. It means force them to come in. Who the man? What's that? Who the man? Christ, the black Messiah. Right. Read it again. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. That your what? My house may be filled. Christ is saying, Go and teach my people, so my house can be filled. But you don't believe that. That's what you say. I ain't saying that. Do you believe that? I believe what I believe in. All right. Bro, read the flyer, right? That's crazy. Read the flyer. That's crazy. I mean, repent. Obey the commandments. Shalom. Uh. <laughs> no, no, see? God don't want you to do that. Really? You don't want to hear the word, so we're going to keep talking I've been, to I've you? I've been listening to it all. I don't care. You, I need it. You need I what? Need you need the what? Word, the word. Okay, you need to I'm do not, the not, word. Not, Apply not. it. That's what we've been telling you for the past. How long we've been here? How long we been here? It don't matter how long it takes. But God said, tell, tell me one day. Tell me two hours. Come to the school. Tell me one hour. Come to the school. It's like, come on, man. Come to the school. Come on, man. And we'll see if you really want help. No, that's... We'll, we'll see if you really want help. You know how many people say, I want help? I'm not worried about other people. I'm worried about um, myself. Okay. Come to the school. What school? It's on the back of the flyer. The address is on the back of the flyer. Our phone number is on the back of the flyer. Now you're pressing my ability to read. My brother, you got issues, bro. I do. But we love you. I do too. And they know love lost, my brother. We love you. But, bro, you got to repent as an Israelite. All right. And keep God's commandments. What is that? Israelite, what is that? That's who you are. That's who you be. I mean, what right. is that? Give me Genesis 30, uh, 32, 28. Well, I mean, like, what is that shit? Okay, okay, watch this. My man, you can't tell me? Like, without no, no, reading no, no, no. Genesis 32, 28. My words mean nothing. God's word means everything. That's right. That's right. Read the book of Genesis, chapter 32, and verse 27. 28. 28. 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So our forefather, his name was Jacob, right? Out of Jacob came the 12 tribes of Israel. But he said, your name is not no more Jacob, but what? But Israel. For what? But Israel. For as a prince. For as a what? As a prince hast thou power with God, and with men hast prevailed. Read it again. Shall be no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God, and with men, and hast prevailed. Has prevailed. That means we are royalty. We are the princes of the power of God. Right. That's who we are. And has prevailed. We're going to win. That's right. At the end, we're going to get the kingdom and rule the whole damn planet. That's right. right. 
Because God says so. Right. Not me. Not him. Not him. God says so. Right. Which is in the Bible. Do you understand that? The Bible. The Bible. That the Bible. you think man wrote. Who wrote it? Give me Psalm 68, 11 again. Was he a man? Was he a man? Was Watch God this. a man? Watch this. I'm just asking you. Watch this. You're going to listen? Are you going to listen? Yes, man. Yes, sir. Okay. Psalm 68 and verse 11. The book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. Now give me Exodus 15 and 3. Exodus 15 and 3. Hey, the answers we're going to give you out of the scriptures, not by our own words. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is what? The Lord, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Lord is a man of war of war. Yes. Man of war. Give me Daniel 7 and 9. Bring it out. <laughs> the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. This is talking about the most high God, the heavenly father. Read it again. I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. Wait, wait, wait. In order to sit, what do you have to have in order to sit? To sit down? Yes. Because he sat on a throne. In order to sit on a throne, what do you need? Uh, wait a minute. Give me, give me a minute. It's not hard, bro. It is hard for me. Okay. In order for you to sit, what do you need? Understand. And what I'm, what I'm, what I mean, like, like, you got to control some shit. Okay. Well, you got to control some shit. We're talking about the heavenly Father who no, controls no, everything. No, no, Read it again. I beheld till the thrones were cast I down, I, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment, whose what? Uh, whose garment yeah, was yeah. white as snow. The ancient of days, the heavenly Father, sat on his throne and had a glorious garment. Right. What do you need to have to sit on a throne and wear a garment? What do you need? Tell them what they tell them what they want to hear. Then you need a body. All right. All right. Somebody to say it. You need a body. Somebody to say it. Read on. Somebody to say and it. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Read it again. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. What is that? Take your nappy. hat off. Nappy. Take your hat off nappy. and feel your hair nappy. again. Nappy. Yeah. Yeah. Nappy. Yeah. Nappy. Yeah. Nappy. yeah. Right. Take your hat off. Feel your hair. I already know what it feels like. What does it feel like? Uh -oh. So I'm the man. No, you're not the man. See? Nah, no, 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 no. You know, you're dying like regular men because you won't obey the commandments of God, which is our power. Right. Do you understand that? Because God's kings don't live like this. This is a result of us disobeying God. I don't know. I just walk. I don't live over here. Wherever we live, we're at the bottom of society. Exactly. And I don't believe what motherfuckers be telling me. They be lying. The Bible does not lie. Right. God said, if you disobey my commandments, I'm going to put you in slavery. On cargo slave ships. Did that happen? Why do we change the Bible? If I go to the Bible right now, you have a Bible? No. Oh, come on, man. I'm, you want me to lie to you? Come on. Get yourself a King James Version Bible. And believe in that. What else? What have you been, been believing in? Myself. And, and where has that got you? Nowhere. Okay. All right. So if there's nobody I don't even see. Okay. I'm, we see all the okay, results I'm, I'm, of this of like, disobeying his commandments, don't we? I'm just saying though, but why can't I ask them type of questions? I, I mean, you I, can. I want to know, my brother. But you can ask those questions. But your reaction though got me kind of uh. What's my reaction? But what I'm saying to you is like. What's my reaction, bro? Because I'm gonna tell you something. When Christ returns, this is soft compared to what he's gonna be like. This is soft. So if you can't take this, you're not gonna make it into the kingdom. It's not about what I'm taking. I'm, I'm just asking questions. I'm not. I'm not getting my. I'm not getting my, my, my response. I, I, I'm what response are you expecting? I don't even know. 
I didn't hear you. We can't even tell you all night long, bro. Believe in that. Yes. Because your way is the wrong way. It's leading you to death. Believe in that. Yes. Yes. This is all we got. This is our source of power. Right here in the scriptures. What you do it for? What's that? What you do it for? Because I fear him and I want the kingdom. I fear the Lord. Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm afraid of him. Because you know what? I'm allergic to nuclear fire. That's what he's going to bring. It's a Babylon the Great. Nuclear fire. You don't believe that though, right? The world you just use. Nothing. Nigga, everybody gone. Ain't nobody, you can't save anyone. Oh, yes, the one third. Not nuclear. One third will be saved. Nuclear? Nuclear. One third. You don't know the power of God, do you? So you're going to just kill everybody to stop right here? Give me Zechariah 13. Just, Zechariah 13 and verse 8. I, you know, I was trying to avoid going to go, the... My, my, my brother, my brother, listen. What kind of help are you talking about? I already told, I already said that, I said that for about three, four times. Okay, but you have rejected the solutions. Make me believe. Uh-uh. <laughs> bro, I'm going to tell you. I want If to. I had spiritual power right now, I'm bro, just, 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 just. The God listen. do. What? The God do. That you don't believe in right See? now. See? That's what I'm talking about. But you said it. The God do. Who's so God? He got it. I don't know. He ain't in you? Yes, he is. All right, there, so come on. So what, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? Whatever it means to you. No. What does it mean? What do you mean by that? Bro, we've been very patient with you, bro. Very patient. What's that mean? Oh. What do you mean patient? Like, what I mean like... Because we understand there's a spirit on you, brother. There's a spirit of rebellion. No, see? No? No? By your very words, bro. It's by your very words. Don't judge me, my brother. Uh, we can't judge? Yeah. What are we doing right now? Yeah, you can. What you're are right. we doing right now? You, 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 you're right, you can. No, no, I'm not no, right. No, no, the no, Bible's no, no. right. No, no. The Bible's right. Read. You know what I want? The Bible. First Corinthians 2, 15. Uh, everybody wants to see the book of First Corinthians, chapter 2 and verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Read that again. But he that is spiritual judges all things. What makes you spiritual? Who I am. Get out. Very, very patient. Bro, because we understand our people are destroyed. And because they broke the commandments of God, they'll be smitten with madness. We understand that. So therefore, we're patient with our people. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. What? That the law is spiritual. So when we're keeping God's commandments, God's laws, that makes us spiritual. Go back to 1 Corinthians 2.15. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2 and verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. Why aren't we judge of no man? Because we're keeping his commandments. Uh, right. So we're out here to judge our people. Yes. Yes, we are. Uh, give me uh, Micah 3 and 8. Oh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah 58 and 1. Because this, this brother needs... Boy. This brother needs... I, 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 mm. I already said it. Don't, uh, long time ago. Mm. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. This is what God commands us to do. Cry aloud. Do what? Cry aloud. Spare not. We're not here to spare anybody's feelings. Read on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. The trumpet soft or loud? Is a trumpet soft or loud? A trumpet? Yes. Shit. The whole stadium. Our voice. It's like a trumpet. And the Bible, like a that's the trumpet. Right. 
and show my people their transgressions. So do what? Show my people their transgressions. Uh -huh. And the house of Jacob, their sins. Guess what that's called? Judging. Judging. God tells us to go, teach his word, and judge the people. Right, that's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.